What is that next step going to be with the learnings from Operation Sindhu? Uh, very broadly, I'm thinking, obviously, you know, code, software, range is going to be another aspect. Anti-jamming. Armament and survivability to yeah. uh, electronic yeah. warfare and yeah. jamming. I, I, would, I would put that jamming as, as number, number one. one. Yeah. Because you need to have, uh, you know, jam resistant mm. or if possibly jam proof yeah. uh, drones That's going the through. Key. Uh, and that, you know, is a game of, free, of, of frequencies, of radar frequencies, of, uh, you know, uh, jamming frequencies, uh, of comms, uh, you know, of data links, uh, all of that yeah, stuff. And, yeah. you know, all of that has to be made stronger and more resilient mm. to enable these drones to actually... If these drones go through, they'll hit their target. The thing is that it's these jamming measures yeah. which, uh, you know, it's, it's the difference between success and failure. Look mm. at what we uh, actually did... Uh, when uh, our, our strikes went in to hit uh, the Pakistani, uh, you know, air bases, uh, we jammed out frontline Pakistani systems mm. so our missiles could go through. In the same way, we have to ensure yeah. that our own drones, right, are not jammed, or yeah. even if they are, they are able to discern the nature of the threat and go through. It's it's going to be incredible whether it is resistance to jamming. Uh, you know, all the building blocks of these drones exist and they've yeah. been proven, I think, in the, in this combat, Vishnu, uh, in terms of what they can do, uh, you know, what they're capable of doing in contested environments, uh, uh, huge amount of data in terms of how they can be better jam resistant, uh, longer range, more lethal, uh, the ability to carry, uh, you know, bigger warheads, etc., yeah. flexibility. I'm sure those things are going to happen. Uh, but one final point I'd like to make before we end this episode is it's also really heartening to see that it's not just the big companies. Yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, Adani's, Tata's are there. Yeah. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, Alpha Forge. Design and Zen and some yeah. of the others. Bharat Forge as well is getting into this space. But the large number of small companies... That are doing it's just this. fantastic. You know, you've got students working on this. Students just yeah. out of IITs. Yeah. Uh, Idea Forge used to be used to be yeah. an IIT incubation project. <laughs> uh, you should see the average age yeah. of their uh, of their leadership. It's is, incredible. It's yeah. truly incredible. So you know, just just thinking out of the top of my head, I'm just wondering whether this will go some distance in reversing a bit of the brain drain that we keep whining about and complaining about in this country because I think there's so. so much work to be done in this drone aerospace uh, field. I think that's very much the future. Uh, one of the areas which has a real future when it yeah. comes to our future, when it comes to our defense planning. Uh, these systems, and again, as we said a little while earlier on, the information, the data which they've picked up, the fact that you've got any number of these companies potentially having been embedded with the Indian Armed Forces, getting a sense firsthand about what it's all about, the mm. nature of the Pakistani defenses, it's all something that they're going to work with uh, to try and sort out for the future. Yeah.